So here's a good question. It says, should I always answer the phone when it rings or is it okay to let it go to voicemail and get back to them? This is a really good question, especially as a brand new investor, because when that phone rings for the first couple of times, you do your marketing. If you do the marketing the right way, your phone will ring. And, and whenever it does ring, it's kind of like, you know, you just want to look around and is somebody else going to get it? it? It's a little bit nerve wracking, but just pick up the phone and say, you know, hello, this is whatever your name is. Hello, this is Jenna. And they, you know, may say, I saw your sign. I got your letter. Okay, great. Let me tell you a little bit about what I do. Um, again, my name is Jenna. Go right into your elevator pitch. Some people don't really feel that they have to have an elevator pitch. You don't have to. But it gives you something to say when it's the awkward silence, and then it leads them into it leads you into what to do next, what to say next. Um, but if you are in a place where you can answer the phone, absolutely answer it because you don't know if they're going to pick up the phone after it goes to your voicemail, and they're going to call somebody else. They're going to call your competition. If you are nervous, just let it go to voicemail. Like take a couple of deep breaths, you know, collect yourself, and then give them a call back. And on your voicemail. Let them know, you know, hi, this is Jenna. Um, thanks for calling. Jenna buys houses. Um, if you have a property that you're looking to sell, please leave your name, your number, the address, and whatever. Try to give them the ability, you know, try to tell them to give the address because if they give you the address, it gives us the, uh, the, the upper hand or it gives us more of the, of the advantage that we can go in and start plugging in their address into RealFlow pull up how many bedrooms, bathrooms, who owns it. We'll already know their name, the square footage, what type of HVAC system. We'll already know a lot of the stuff, how much they bought it for, when they bought it, pictures of it. So it will pull all that up for us. So it gives us the ability to take a breath and calm ourselves and then call. Don't waste a whole lot of time. And even if they call and don't leave a voicemail, still call them back because you'll see that they did call you if you have like a, um, like a separate like a Google Voice or some other call service if it's not on your regular cell phone. Just make sure you do call them back because somebody did call, they may be nervous, and um, and we wanna follow up with every, this is a lead. Every lead you don't follow up on, that's money that you're potentially losing.